Hi, this is Dr. K from the Center for Functional Health, and today I want to talk about a gluteal stretch, a stretch for also the iliotibial band, and it's also a hip mobility movement. So when we talk about the glute muscles, we're talking about this gluteal complex, and this gluteal complex is made up of the gluteus minimus, an anterior and posterior division, front and back, gluteus medius, that's the middle portion of the glute muscles, and the gluteus maximus. Now, below those muscles are other muscles called piriformis, obturator internus, and externus, and it goes all the way down, layer by layer, into your hips. So, we're going to talk about how we can stretch the glute muscles, the soggy leg, iliotibial band, and it's going to be an easy stretch to do. You want to just sit nice and tall. Now, you've seen this stretch where people sit nice and tall, and they lean forward, and I showed this in some other videos as well. What we're going to do today that's a little bit different is we're going to do two things. We're going to grab onto the leg here, interlace my fingers around my knee, and I'm pulling up. Now, I can start to feel this in my glute here, going all the way across down the outside of my thigh. I'm going to hold, and now what I'm going to do is turn into it like this. And I can really feel that stretch. I'm going to hold that for a count of five, and then I'm going to back off. And then I'm going to come in, I'm going to hold this for a count of four, one, two, three, four, back off, go in for a count of three, and I'm pulling again, pulling this knee up at the same time, back off, and a count of two, and back off, and a count of one, and back off. And the reason we do the five, four, three, two, one, it sets up a fail-safe mechanism to do two things. One, that you won't overstretch it, and two, you're always resetting and going back into the stretch with good technique. So what happens when people can't bring their leg over their other leg, they can't bring the ankle or their knee over their other knee, you see them do one of these. And we don't want you really leaning back like that. Just make it simple. Straighten the leg in front of you, cross your leg over, so the ankle's over the knee. A lot of people who are tight, you're gonna see them bring their foot in like this. But you wanna be able to bring your foot straight back like this. And you're sitting nice and tall. So you have your ankle, you have your knee, your ankle, your hip, your shoulder and chest. And again, we're going to grab, I'm going to pull. One, two, three, four, five. Reset, lean in. One, two, three, four. And again, it's a five down to one. One, two, three. And then we're going to lean again. One, two. And then one, so I'm pulling the leg up as I'm leaning in. You see here a lot of people say push the leg down. So we don't want to push it down. We want to be able to push it up, pull it up, and then lean into it. Nice and easy. All right, so now another way of doing the stretch, we're going to go back to the leg. It's here. It's going to be really similar. Before we pull it up, which is great, now what you're going to do is you're going to pull up and you're reaching. So you're pulling up and you're reaching down. And it's going to get deeper into the glutes. Again, that five second count, and you're going to four second count, two, three, four, down three, two, and one. So I'm going to show the leg, straighten the leg, ankle over, nice and tall. You're going to reach. So this is taking your hand, you're going to pull up a little bit, and you're reaching. Nice and simple, five down to one. Easy gluteal stretches. It's great for hip mobility. Great for gluteal butt stretching and the side leg. All right, I'll see you soon.